What causes anemia in rheumatoid arthritis? Hello, I'm Dr. Hatem el -Aishi. I'm a professor of rheumatology at Cairo University in Egypt. I also provide online consultations for patients with arthritis. Our topic today is anemia in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. There are a lot of misconceptions about anemia in general and also in rheumatoid arthritis, of course. For example, many patients believe that if you have anemia, you should be taking iron pills. That is not true, and it is one of the important points that we will explain and clarify in this video. Provisionally, what does it mean when we say that someone has anemia? It means that their blood test, called the complete blood count, is showing a decrease in one of three readings. The hemoglobin concentration, or a reading called the hematocrit, or a reading called the red blood cell count. So, what exactly does it mean if you have a decrease in your hemoglobin or your red blood cell count? Well, let me explain this basic fact first. The function of the red blood cells, or the hemoglobin that it contains, is transport of oxygen from the lungs to all the cells in all the tissues of your body. So, when hemoglobin is less, then the transport of oxygen to the body cells will be less. This is anemia. It is low oxygen transport to the cells of the body. The most important symptoms here will be fatigue, feeling dizzy, lightheadedness, you look pale, you get palpitations, chest pain maybe, coldness of the hands and feet. Those are the most important symptoms of anemia. Please do not be concerned if you are watching this video and you have one or more of those symptoms. I will explain. Each one of those symptoms has more than one cause, and anemia is only one cause. It is only one possibility for any one of those symptoms. And most importantly, we do not diagnose anemia without a blood picture that shows low readings for hemoglobin and the red blood cell count, as we just mentioned. What we are doing now is that we are paving the way with basic information that will help you understand the causes for anemia in rheumatoid arthritis that is the topic of this video. So, one more basic fact about bone marrow. Bone marrow is the factory in our body that is manufacturing red blood cells and the hemoglobin in those red blood cells. Bone marrow is in the bones, in your bones. This factory is actually manufacturing all your blood elements red blood cells and white blood cells and platelets too. For this factory to function and produce all its products, the blood cells, it needs raw materials and some staff members and some supervisors. Examples of raw materials are iron, vitamin B12 and folic acid. Examples of staff and supervisors are thyroid hormone and testosterone hormone and also representatives from the liver and the kidney. And this means that if you have a thyroid disease or a chronic disease of the kidney or the liver, you might also get anemia. Now I'm done with the basic knowledge that I want you to know. And now, what causes anemia in a patient with rheumatoid arthritis? Four big causes. Number one, and this is the most common cause, anemia of chronic disease. If you have a chronic inflammatory disease, whether it is rheumatoid arthritis or any other chronic inflammatory disease, there will be inflammatory mediators circulating in your blood. Some of those mediators are silly enough to go to the bone factory, the, the bone marrow factory, and cut the electricity for some time and affect the production of the blood elements in spite of the fact that all the raw materials are already there and all the staff and supervisors are at work. This is what we call anemia of chronic disease. What is the treatment? It is treatment of the disease. You don't need any supplements or iron pills for that type of anemia. Number two, the patient does have iron deficiency, which causes iron deficiency anemia. Where did he get this iron deficiency? In rheumatoid arthritis, the most common cause is blood loss. Patients who use a lot of painkillers from the family of painkillers known as NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, can get an inflammation of the wall of their stomach. The inflamed wall 
in medical terms we call it inflamed mucosa, sometimes trickles blood and this causes blood loss and iron deficiency anemia. Treatment is at two levels. Level one, the primary level, is to treat the cause, to treat rheumatoid arthritis itself, so that the patient does not need to use a lot of NSAIDs, painkillers, and does not get stomach problems and does not lose any blood. This is the most important measure to undertake here. At another level, yes, we provide treatment for the stomach that protects it from the effect of the NSAIDs, and we also prescribe iron supplementation to the patient in the form of iron pills or intravenous iron supplementation. Number three, deficiency of folic acid. This might happen in some patients who are using specific anti-rheumatoid medications. So routinely, when we prescribe such medications, we usually give folic acid supplementation as a preventive measure to those patients. Number four, the last cause, some medications that we use for rheumatoid arthritis that might inhibit the function of the bone marrow. They do not have to cause any deficiency of any raw materials that the bone marrow factory is using. They just inhibit the operations of the factory. How we deal with this cause? That depends on how severe the problem is and the curve of how fast the anemia is happening. We might decrease the dose of the medicine or interrupt the use of the medicine for a couple of weeks or simply discontinue the medicine never to use it again. Now, those were the most important causes for anemia in a patient with rheumatoid arthritis. We, doctors, we sort out the type of anemia based on checking certain figures in the blood picture of the patient. This means that there are figures that we rely on to diagnose the presence of anemia, like the hemoglobin level and the red blood cell count and the hematocrit, and there are other sub-figures or accessory figures that we rely on to diagnose the specific type of anemia that the patient has. So, to end this video, now you know there are several different types of anemia that can happen in a patient with rheumatoid arthritis. Each one of them has a different cause and a different type of management. There is nothing like if you have anemia, then you need to take iron pills. If you find this video informative, please click like and feel free to click subscribe to my channel too. I hope to see you again in the next video. Till then, take care.